Hi, I'm Joy, a missionary on staff with Calvary Chapel Rosarito, and I want to welcome you to today's good news. And the lame shall leap for joy, the glorious day of the Lord that is going to come. But before it comes, there's going to be darkness and desolation. So with the nation of Israel, they're, they're coming the darkness and the desolation, but yet God is going to bring them back in the land in the day of glory and blessing. That awaits these people. So when we are six, we think our mother is the best mother in the world and that she knows everything. But then by the time we turn 16, we change our minds completely and decide that our mother doesn't know anything, but we know everything. Then by the time we're 26, we realize that maybe our moms know something but we still think that we know most things. But by the time we're 36, we realize we had it right when we were six, that our mom truly does know everything. Today, we're going to be learning about our mothers and our fathers and how we should interact with them. Please open your Bibles and turn with me to Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. And it says, Honor your father and your mother so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. This verse here is located in the section of scriptures that is called the Ten Commandments. And this is um, right near the middle and it's in between the beginning section that talks about how we are to interact with God. And then the second section that talks about how we're to interact with people. And so this first part that talks ab about how we're to deal with our mother and our father, who are the most important people that we have interactions with. And it says here that we should honor our mother and our father. And then there's a promise that goes along with this command. And it says that you're you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving to you. And so we see here that there's this blessing that God wants to give you when you obey his command to honor your father and your mother. So I want to take this opportunity right now and give a shout out to my parents because I have been so blessed to have amazing, wonderful parents who have loved me and raised me well and who have instructed me in the ways of the Lord. And so I just want to right now take this opportunity to thank them and to praise them for the role that they've had in my life. Now, all of us have different ways that we can bring honor to our parents. Now, honor is not only an attitude but it's also often an action that we have to take and so some of these ways that we can show honor to our parents um, do require some action the first one is that we can submit or obey them now this is probably also one of the hardest ways to show honor to our parents because it requires of us that attitude of submitting to their request and then obeying what they're asking us. The second thing is that we can speak well of them and we can speak kindly to them. The third thing is that we can value the advice that they give us. And fourth of all, we can just appreciate them and their role in our life. Now, what if you did not have amazing, wonderful parents like I did? What if your parents weren't good or they weren't there for you? Um, they weren't really involved in your life. You know, many people don't have those good parents. And yet, in this verse, it doesn't really talk about what the parents are supposed to do, but it's talking to us about what we are to do. And so I want to encourage you that there are things that you can do even if you're in this situation. First of all is you can pray for your parents. That's a way that you can honor them. Secondly is that you can refuse to bring up their past failures. And the only exception that I would say to this is if you're bringing it up in order to let them know that you're forgiving them 
for the things that have happened in the past. A third thing is, is that you can appreciate the good that they are doing, either have done then or that they are doing now. And the fourth thing is to simply be grateful and to enjoy the life that you have now that you received from them and to live it well. And that is today's good news.